What's going on everybody? In this video we're going to build Southern 6133 which is an FP7 and uh, my favorite thing about this is that you can pretty much use it as a survival base like there's a ton of space in here and uh, here you go. I have a bunch of chests in here also in the front and the nose. I have a bed, armor stand, crafting table. You can also get out through here. See this is a door actually right there so you can get in and out the front as well like that. Pretty cool feature. There's a couple more doors on the side. Also, another one of my favorite things is uh, these exhaust vents up top here. I thought anvils looked like almost exactly like the ones in real life, so it uh, it really looks like uh, pretty accurate to the uh, the really the real thing. So to get started, first we're gonna build the plow up front. Um, so. Uh, build two up, like this, sort of this U shape here, and the piston, and some dark oak fences as your uh, brake hoses right here, like that. Now we're going to put a door right there, and some smooth quartz right here, there's green concrete right there, and right there, now smooth quartz stairs, like that. And a redstone lamp with a white carpet on top, like that. Now get more smooth quartz and then make a triangle shape of smooth quartz slabs right here. So you have that shape. And now we're going to smooth quartz right here, green concrete, going like that, and up front, obviously, the number board and the Southern Railway logo, 6133, and the item frame, the block of gold, place that in there, there's more number boards on the sides here, on this green part. So now we're going to work on the rest of the chassis, so we get some black concrete, and now the wheels, and sight, 2x2, two two. like that, skip a block, and place some black concrete like this, so 3 blocks of that, and then 5 blocks where it's too tall, and also cobblestone on the bottom here, and then skip another block, Place another set of wheels. And do the same thing on the other side. Like this. So you have that. And then uh, we're going to run stone slabs going down the whole thing. Um, and back here you have black concrete. We're going to put some ladders on these eventually. Keep the slabs going. Also, a ladder right here on each side. And then over here, um, Actually, place black concrete right there, and then a ladder uh, right here, and right here, and then fill in the rest with stone brick slabs like that. Also, uh, we can go ahead and fill in the uh, bottom here with black concrete. Now, for the trucks, take some cobblestone stairs and make this shape like that. Do 
this thing on each side. So you have this. And also, just go ahead and fill in this bottom part. Now we're gonna work on the cab. So get smooth quartz and first of all just run it down the whole thing. Like this. And then get some green concrete and place it in a shape like that. And also, over here, there's green concrete right there, and more panes, and there's your front windshield right there. And place stone brick slabs on top of these three, and these two, like this. We're gonna get a full block of gray stained glass, place it here, and right here. Actually, like this, and then here there's doors on each side just to get into the cab. So now, some green concrete, run it down the whole thing, like this, and then get yellow concrete, uh, this is the number right here, so we're going to put 6133 again, and then uh, the word southern here, so we're just going to use uh, yellow concrete to make it look like the southern lettering right there. Same thing on the other side, and then also 6133 six, right there. And now for the ladder up, uh, made a little mistake right here. Place uh, your black concrete right here, so your ladder goes to the door like that. Same thing on the other side. Now get iron bars, just as uh, handrails on the side, and some uh, green concrete. Get these walls done. There's a window right here, and then more green concrete down here, and another window right here, and a door. Right here, ladder, ladder there, and then green concrete the rest of the way. Put more green concrete here, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now for the vents on the top, get um, stone brick, what is it called? it's cracked stone bricks, and then run them along the top like this, and place iron bars along them. Also on the back here, put some handrails and ladders. So we have that. And now uh, place 
green concrete right here. So uh, just uh, where this uh, yellow southern logo begins. Do the same on the other side. And then fill in the middle. Like that. And then also complete the roof over here. Then we're going to make it look more sloped with some stone brick slabs on the side. And uh, this right here, it's kind of like, uh, I think they're um, air pipes or air tubing on the top. I'm not really sure. Um, I know on the, on the thing, on the actual 6133, there's some sort of tubing on the top. That's kind of what that's supposed to be. And then place four stone um Stonebrook slabs there as uh, some vents. And then my favorite part, the anvils, is your uh, exhaust right here. This one there and one there. So you have that. And then another vent, one block away from the back. And a vent right here. And then also in the front, get a comparator. This is supposed to be the horn kind of looks like a horn kind of that's kind of what it's supposed to be I guess it looks like a horn but uh yeah that's as close as I could as I could find to the horn that we're looking for but that's the exterior almost complete on the back here we're gonna get some uh, stone slabs and then also um, stone brick stairs and just stone bricks, place some slabs uh, right here. Actually place a stair right there and then stone bricks. And then stairs and stair. And then also um, for the floor we're gonna use dark oak. So there's the rear of it. Also, there's a coupler in the back. Like that. Now, uh, what I did is I uh, actually filled in the bottom right there. Along the hole. Just fill in those holes uh, so it doesn't look very empty. Like so. And now we're gonna work on the interior of the engine. So for the uh, interior, there's a little wall right here. And we're gonna place a door right there. The dark oak planks fill in the floor. Place a door right here. Now, um, place green concrete right here and dark oak right there and get some lecterns if I can find it. Lecterns, here's your controls and some chairs and item frames, or stairs and item frames. Those are your chairs. Now we're gonna make stairs to the bottom dark oak stairs. Like that. Now we have a bunch of space here. Um, you can carpet this place and also uh, place quartz down just to fill in this gap. And quartz right there. Place a lever and now you have your headlight and also the light for the room. Fill in over here. So now you have this. And the way I decorated it is I placed some 
gray carpet on the floor. And then a bed. Obviously got to go with a green bed for the Southern Railway. And a crafting table and an armor stand. There is the room where you can sleep in. Obviously you can't sleep right now. Yep. So that's the cab done. Now we're gonna work on back here, which is honestly pretty simple. Just um, just uh, build a little staircase right here. Place these with green concrete and just fill in the floor. And you can put anything you want to in here. I use this as kind of a storage room because I feel like that's one of the most important things in a survival base, having a lot of storage because you know, you pick up a bunch of junk along the way. And the way I lighted it is um, with some redstone lamps so you can turn it on and off. Uh, so there's a vent right here. Turn that on. I think there's one right. I'm just gonna place them under all the vents so you can't see it from the outside. So right there. Oop, that's not what we wanted. <laughs> right there. Now on the outside, we're just going to replace that anvil that we lost. Like that. Um, I think that's the whole thing completed. We missed a little detail right here. Finished off those handrails. And yep, that is uh, Southern 6133 completed. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you can build it in your survival world. Uh, the materials shouldn't be that hard to get. But um, anyways, yeah, I am a big fan of this one just because it has so much room inside, especially in the nose. And uh, you can get out through the nose right there and leave that door open. That was a scary noise. Um, and yeah, uh, once again, uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, leave a like on this video. Do whatever you want with the inside back here. And thanks for watching. Uh, once again, I have a couple more projects coming up, like Tag 80 and the uh, Norfolk and Western Y6A back there. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Can you hear? Can you hear? Can you hear my voice?